Hi, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. In this week's video, I'm going to cover an introduction to drawing applique blocks using electric quilt. Often this is one of the scarier things to work on when being introduced to the program, but I will take the mystery out of many of those concerns. I thought this I would start this week's video by showing you how I actually bring my images in for tracing. So if you look at my taskbar, and this isn't really part of EQ or my program, but it's part of uh, my computer, you can see down here on my taskbar I have this thing with scissors, and it's called a snipping tool. And I use that to actually take screenshots or parts of screenshots for tracing. Now, if you don't have the snipping tool, you can get to it by going into your start menu, and go under all programs and you're going to find Windows Accessory. And within Windows Accessories you should be able to find your snipping tool. And if you want to put that on your taskbar you can um, basically right click on it and you can pin it, um, pin it to your taskbar or I think you can actually even drag it um, to you know down there. But get that down there and now, if I want to uh, bring in an image, I'm going to click on that snipping tool, and then this window pops up, um, and I just will say New. And once I've done that, you can see I get these crosshairs. And so I'm going to left click on my mouse, and I'm going to draw a box. And so I just keep that um, click down, and I go from one corner. To the other corner and I release. And my screenshot now shows up in my snipping tool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a save as and I'm just going to go ahead and um, put this um, in one of my files here. Um, so I'm going to just call this applique block and I'm going to go ahead and save that. And I can now close my snipping tool. Okay, now I have opened an EQ file and I'm going to go ahead and select work on block and I'm going to do a block, new block, and in this case I'm going to do a patch draw block because this is going to be an applique. Now, the reason I selected block rather than motif is I want a background um, space. And so motif will not give me that, but block will. So I've now selected that. And I'm going to, uh, first of all, select my tracing image. And I'm going to do a um, Im image. And I'm going to navigate to where I saved. And because I know I just saved it today, I can select under today. And I'm going to go ahead and open that. And I'm going to say OK. And then click on the middle of the space. And it fills in. If I want to do some modification on it, I can uh, maybe make it just a little bit larger so that it um, that the sashing moves outside of that uh, of that space. So I think that's pretty good. I'm going to lighten it just a bit so um, hopefully you can better see what I'm doing as I as I trace this image. So now I'm going to select the applique tab. And for tracing of applique shapes I actually love to use the BZR tool, and that is um, uh, this one right here. And for some reason, I don't know why it isn't popping up, but it's the one with the pencil with the um, with the curve, and it's a BZR curve. Now, uh, one of the things that's somewhat unique when you're um, tracing in EQ is I am only going to put nodes at 
my points or my intersection points. And it might look a little scary to begin with, but that's okay because we're going to just clean it up. So I'm going to start down here in the corner. I'm going to left click on that first corner point and I'm just going to drag my mouse up to the next one. And so I released my mouse and I'm going to click down again and go to the next one and release. Click down, go to the next. And again, I'm not really worried if the shape is good or not because that is not important at this point. Now it has basically filled in or completed my shape. And you can see that it's not looking great, but that's okay because I'm going to select the shape tool and now I can select either nodes or line segments. And I'm going to show you the next thing, the difference between the two. If I select one of the nodes, you can see that basically both sides of the nodes are um, have um, handles on them. And you can maneuver the handles. And you can basically clean up, help clean up the shape. Now, if you're on a node, you can also move that node. So if you didn't do a good job and put it in the right spot, that's okay because you can fix it at this point. Your third option is to actually click on the line segment. And when you click, when I clicked on that middle segment there, or that long segment, notice now the nodes on both sides of that segment show up. And so I can move both of those and basically maneuver that segment into place. So I'm following my, um, my tracing image. And so really when I am tracing, I'm using a combination of those. I'm either you know, clicking on the node, working with the handles on both sides, clicking on the segment, or moving the node. Now, if you need another node, all you need to do is right click on the segment. If you click on edit, it allows you, oh, I'm on a node here, if I'm on a segment. If I select an add, to the arc, another node will appear between those two. Now, I don't necessarily want that, so I'm going to select that and just go ahead and delete it. And now I'm going to have to clean up that, uh, that segment again. So I'm going to now move to this one. And I'm just going to go ahead and select each of those segments and pretty much just try to um, make a good um, good drawing there. And I really, tr my goal when I'm working on applique is to have as few of nodes as possible because nodes tend to create sort of bumps in what you're doing. And so I really prefer if I can literally do a segment with no nodes other than one at the beginning and the end of the segment, that to me um, is really a perfect, um, uh, perfect drawing. So once I've got that done, I can take, um, use the pick tool, take the segment, and now I can use the clone tool and I can rotate it 90 degrees and then I'm to rotate I'm going to that rotate box and I'm just going to put in 90 and hit the enter key and it will move in place. Now if that isn't exact the exact rotation I want if I use the control key and hit the center of the segment notice that these arrows appear on that outside. Now just um, rotate that segment um, in better place and I'm going to select the pick tool and select that again and do another um, either clone or control C control V really whatever your um, preferred method is fine and I'm going to move that in place 
and another control C control V and another 90 degrees and it will and I'll move the last one in place so we've now gotten uh, four of the pieces done for the next segment I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to pick up the BZR curve tool I'm going to click with the mouse and I'm holding left clicking and holding it down going up to the top releasing the mouse clicking left clicking again going down release and then finishing and I'm going to select the shape tool select one of the segments select the next shape move those nodes in place and for this last one here I select the zoom tool yeah and again now I'm going to select that and I'm going to clean that up okay so I'm going to fit to work table and it shows up uh, the full screen so I'm going to select my pick tool select this image and do another control C control V rotate that 90 degrees control C control V another 90 degrees select enter and then the last one oops I think I put in 80 rather than 90 okay now for those circles I'm going to actually select the ellipse tool but to when you draw an ellipse and I'm just going to show you here this in the corner notice that you know the circle uh, is not perfectly round but there is a way in electric quilt to get it that way and that is when I'm drawing that ellipse I am using the control key on my computer while I'm drawing it and now I am getting a perfectly sized circle now if that's too big which it is uh, no, I can't get to it here I can um, I use the pick tool and I'm just dragging that over and I'm going to bring that one back in place now now for the next one in the center there again ellipse tool control key down and I'm going to move that in place and again if I needed to resize it I could and so I like that and I'm going to go ahead and oh you know I'm looking and that circle is not quite as um, well positioned as I like so I'm going to go back to the applique tab and at this point I'm going to hide my image because I think it's more confusing than anything and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to center it and then I'm going to take the one that's a little bit bigger and I'm going to center that also now that does mean I may want to move a couple more of these shapes just to um, so they fit a little bit nicer and I might even do a little bit of rota rotating so that my um, center stays in place there now I will try to go to the color tab and I think that looks better and so um, I think when we were I was looking at that original block there was some um, lighter blue some darker blue and then I think there was a red and the background and so we have now drafted block and we'll add that to the sketchbook thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you would like to watch additional videos 
please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com.